And back to the point about independent producers, Linda, uh, when you have large companies, in a way you have a corporate brand uh, to take care of uh, signaling. Now, what do you, uh, what are the watch outs for people as they embark on their own in their, and this includes people like me, uh, who are sort of uh, building a small business, not necessarily aspiring for growth. I guess there are hundreds and thousands of people in, in various domains who are trying to build their enterprise. Uh, what have you seen successful people do in the way they signal their capability or their brand? Brand, what's uh, yeah. how's that playing? Well, out? I think it's really important, as you say, that you realise that you know when we all had corporate uh, careers, we didn't have to signal our brand because we just said, "I work for Shell," and people said, "Ah, okay," or "I work for McKinsey," or "I work for Goldman," and that was enough. That was massive signalling. But actually, now we're going to we're, we'll move a little bit more we have to do our own signaling and I you know I think in the end it's to do with the individual's character so I signal by writing books but I wouldn't say to you you know you must write a book to signal there'll be other I mean you know the fact you're doing this podcast shows your your own signaling so I think it's I suspect it's quite a personal thing Hmm. but it's it's a question we should all be asking ourselves which is to say how would somebody know who I am and how would they know the quality of my work? But frankly, freelance platforms are so good on that. We, in in the in the business that I run, we have, I don't know, maybe twelve full time people, and then around that we have about forty freelancers. And you know, there are freelance platforms that help you to find people who can do your design, do your finance, do your marketing. Uh, and I think that's a really great opportunity for people. 